Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Raza for beginners in 2024. So, are you eager to dive into the world of conversation, AI, and build a powerful chatbot and virtual assistants? Today, we're exploring Raza, an open source platform that empowers you to create intelligence, context-aware bots, whether you are just new to programming or you are a seasoned developer, Raza offers a comprehensive toolkit to get you started. So join me as we uncover the steps to begin using it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave and the browser, of course, in your case, you can open any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically, you'll have to go and in this URL section, just type Raza as an example as that and hit the enter button once you do so you'll find yourself here and click on this first link which is rasa.com and as you can see you'll find yourself in their home screen or main screen right away so as you can see next level generative conversation ai platform so as you can see they have some pricing so they have the developer edition for developer exploring ai assistant projects you can get it for free as you can see all of raza pro on your own computer like you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So Calm, Enterprise Search, E2E testing, and more. Community support our forms and growth. As an example for Teams in growth stages, you'll need to contact sales. And it will be normally starting from this, as you can see. And for Enterprise, of course, as you can see, if you're looking to uh, deploy like conversational AI at scale or need advanced support, you will need to contact sales also. So for me, I'll just go and get the developer edition. And I'll just go and click on Get It For Free or Get For Free. To do so, you'll need to go and submit this so, so raza a pro developer edition the developer edition gives you access to raza pro and our dialogue engine calm which is conversation ai with language model which uh, what does calm stand for is this and as you can see free of charge so it can be run on your laptop desktop or even your remote development environments for non-production use detailed license terms can be found here of course if you want to read like if you don't want to evaluate any of their terms or something like that, you'll be able to read all of that. And how to get started? You'll basically have to fill up your email below and it will send you a license key. So basically, just enter your email address here and make sure to check this option, which is I have read and agree to the uh, Raza user's uh, end user lic uh, license agreement and products terms of use. And of course, Raza will only contact me for the purpose, uh, purpose of this license by submitting I agree to the processing of my personal data in accordance with Rasa privacy policy. So just go and click on submit. And once you click on submit, of course, they should normally send you an email on your email, of course, with the license key. Of course, here you'll have a video tutorial series. So follow along with our new video tutorial series that covers the fundamentals of building conversational AI assistance using Calm powered by Rasa Pro. So you can click on watch now and start watching this small video provided by Raza. Of course, other than that, you'll be able to find any additional resources that you want, like Raza products, uh, Raza forums, and blog. If you want to check out more about anything that you want, as example, this will have you or will get you access to complete library of documentation for Raza Pro and dive into all the features and capabilities for Raza Forum, you'll be able to get to know fellow Raza community members made up for a diverse group of developers, data scientists, designers, and conversational, uh, conversational AI Authesis. And for Raza blog, you'll be able to check out the lastest and greatest of our products updates, including features updates, update to our product strategy, and deep dive into existing products capabilities. So, of course, as we said, if you want to watch and if you want to learn, first of all, about how to use in Raza, how uh, to get into it, basically, as you can see, they're giving you here like uh, some amount of videos, an example, so conversational AI, introduction, introduction to Calm, architecture of assistance, configuring the development environment, flows, dialogue in the sending, custom actions, hidden deviation uh, from the happy path, enterprise search, and running in production and outro in the next step, as an example. So basically, if you watch those videos, you'll be able to understand a lot about that and you'll be able to start using it without any problems as we said for me i'll just go first of all to my email provider to check the email that they sent me so as you can see in here so this is the script this is not rasa just in case of course we'll go to more and click on all mails so it seems like it's not here uh, i guess we'll have to wait a bit 
I'll just check spam just in case. So yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, it seems like it's in spam. So I'll just go and click on look save. So it will not remain on uh, spam as an example. And as you can see here, I got my license key. So hello there, you are now ready to start building AI systems faster than ever before with Rasa Pro. And here is your license key. And as you can see, to get started, you will have to follow the steps of an installation guide. So basically, you'll have to install it. And you can follow along with our new video tutorials here. And if you have any questions or need additional support, visit the Calm uh, category on Raza Community Forum by clicking here. So basically, first of all, this is your license key. And this is the installation guide. So make sure to go and install it. Once you install it, to activate it, you'll need this license key. And you'll be able to use it without any problems. So I go now to all mails. As you can see, I'll find it here. And I'll just go and click on installation guide. Of course, you'll not be able to click it on any link if it's on uh, spam so be careful uh, or make sure to just click on uh, does not look suspicious so you can find us on all mails so here's an example installation for local development raza pro contains a python package raza plus for version that and raza like pro for that version and you can install it locally with either pip or poetry so installing with pip basically you will have to use this pip.conf so the local of pip.conf file on your system depends on whether you want to update the per user file all the files specific for virtual environment that you are using so basically for linux you'll need to type this for mac you'll need to type this and for windows you'll basically have to type this and for virtual environments as you can see that's what you should type so depending on whatever you want uh, like for which version do you have you'll have to choose it here then you will find like how to add it so add this one or, or add this to the pipe conf file so pipe will look like raza pro with the correct hip repository of course if you choose this it will find you'll find raza plus instead of pro and as you can see here how to install so pip install like raza pro installing the poetry if you want to install it with pint poetry so make sure to install it and once you install it as an example you'll be able to start using it you will have to enter your license key so basically here and this Raza doc, you'll have access to everything. So as an example, next licensing, which you will have to enter the license key. So basically, as an example, Raza Pro will look for your license key and the envavar, uh, which must contain the content of the license key file provided by Raza. And you can set the Raza Pro license, uh, of course, temporary in your terminal, but it's recommended to set it persistently uh, so that you don't have to set it every time you run Raza Pro. So as you can see, they shown you how to do it on Bash, how to do it on uh, Windows, like PowerShell. And then you can, of course, use the Raza Kli as usual, for example, like as a Raza init to start using it. And of course, as you can see, they have other docs for how to use in Docker, how to, if you get into troubleshooting and tutorials, for example, as an example, example, so what are you building? I want to send money, who would like to send to? So Jen, so example, this will help you get all already with it and yeah that's gonna be it for you today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye